Good day. How is everyone? Wow, look at them all piling in. <laughs> Hello, CJ and Denise, Andrew, RM, Sister Jeannie. I may have missed somebody who went up out of my view. Um, <clears throat> and um, all those who are joining us, I, I, I like this, this time, this weather. It's beautiful. The sun is coming in. It's cool. We had frost. It froze last night. Got the wood stove going. So today uh, is uh, my brother's birthday, <laughs> October 27th, 2024. And uh, I was doing some digging into um, La Salette and um, I, was all, I knew there was controversy and I didn't quite <clears throat> understand what it was all about. So I found something I'm gonna read about that, um, this, this, this good day rising. Um, Hello, CW. Maybe it was you. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> You're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. This is uh, an honor, and uh, uh, for me to do this is uh, it's an honor. Uh, so the the story is um, is interesting because there's a couple of versions, apparently, of the secret. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? <laughs> and um, yeah, so we'll talk about that in a minute. I wanted to thank, <clears throat> pardon me, I was cleaning out the chimney yesterday, so I've got a lot of soot in my lungs that's getting worked out. And uh, so we're going to have um, the, um, where was I? Oh, the donations. Thank you very much. Um, you have um, really helped with the supply account. And um, yes, thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, what was the other thing? Do, 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 do. I cannot remember. It'll come to me. All right. Um, we'll get started with Good Day Rising prayers, and we'll get into the um, Melanie and Maximin. Oh, yes, I remembered. Um, my daughter is uh, flying up today to visit for a couple of weeks from Florida. We'll get the scoop about the floods when she arrives and uh, hope um, her flight is, goes safely. Uh, also wanted to pray, uh, if you could, for um, that fell out of my head too. I'll pray for my intention, <laughs> whatever that was, it'll come to me. Um, so much, so much going on. I have too many things going on at once. We have the wedding next Sunday. Um, it will be private, uh, but uh, I will uh, let you know how it goes and uh, look forward to that. So, uh, and, and, and I will be going right after the wedding. Um, we're going to go away for a couple of days. Um, again, we're going to leave that up in the air as to whether or not I'll be able to have Mass the following Monday and Tuesday. I know I'll be back Wednesday, so I'll probably have Mass Wednesday evening. But that's a whole week away. That's first Saturday, uh, after first Saturday. We have, oh my gosh, does that mean I'm going to be away for that, that show called The Elections? Hmm. That should be interesting. Well, I'm not going to be that far away. All right. Um, let's get started. In nomine Dei, Amatronam Nostra, et Deum Jesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Holy Trinity and in Catholic contemplation humbly venerate the Divine Family. Oh, 
Most holy and venerable, holy trinity, one divine family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. I remembered. Okay. Um, I posted a video up. Um, it should be live now um, with, uh, as Lucy suggested, um, to, to do another rosary. Um, and it, it, it's a quiet one, no music. And with the, I did it with um, the, the new, with, when we added back in Sanctum Tum in Mulerebus. Uh, holy amongst women. And I also um, did half of it with uh, Have Mercy on Us, and the other half with Ora Pro Nobis, or Pray for Us. And <clears throat> after contemplating and discerning um, and, and thinking about the Trinitarian Theophany as envisioned, or the Holy Trinity envisioned as the Trinitarian Theophany by St. Lucia, um, it, it, it came to me that um, it's certainly probable that Dea Matronam Nostre, who is not the arm of discipline in the Trinity, as we've seen by her um, as evidenced by her actions. Um, and that's typical in the family anyway. Um, so she would be more of the one who would pray to, and, and, and may, pray may not be the correct word here, but um, may, you know, say to her son or to her spouse uh, and, and, intercede on our behalf, and, and not saying, not uh, lessening any of the fact that uh, she still maintains that title of part of the Trinity. So um, I did it that way, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I, I think it's live now. <laughs> it finished uploading 15 minutes ago, so I'm not 100% sure whether or not it's available. But anyway, that was one of the other things, and I'll remember the soul that we need to pray for in a bit. Almost Holy Trinity, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Dei Miesum Christum et Dei Matronum Nostri. Almost Holy Trinity, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany as envisioned, the Holy Trinity as envisioned in the, in the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to heaven and for the souls in purgatory. O most Holy Trinity, I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them that there may be none that is not animated by thy love or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good, and let us beg of the Holy Trinity the graces which are necessary to us. Almost Holy Trinity, thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O Dea Matronam Nostri, I place myself under thy protection, I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, now and at the hour of my death. O Most Holy Trinity, Dea Matronam Nostri, Dei Miesum Crucium, Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I have offended thee, O Most Holy Trinity, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, 
confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. <clears throat> okay, so as I was reading from the other book, this one, uh, it ran into a... Uh, um, a spot where they missed the page in this in this in this publication. So it it's basically stopped and then started again with a different thought and a different time. And I was like, oh, let me go find. Let me see if I can find another copy of the original uh, secret of La Salette. And that's when I, I just saw this. And again, this isn't <clears throat> necessarily the um, I just printed this off <laughs> 20 minutes ago, waiting for the video to upload. This isn't all there is to, to, to it either, I don't believe. I think this one is particularly uh, uh, just like Fatima was, um, you know, offensive to the powers that are at, the, at this time of La Salette that were taking over um, more and more of the church in in the um, ecclesiastical uh, governance end of things versus today or versus Fatima which was which was a little bit a, a, another time frame away of age anyway so I found this and, and I, th I found it s s could be somewhat legit however I can read into their position okay okay so these these are uh, the people who would want to defend the church institution at all costs whether or not antichrist was the head or not <laughs> okay so you know which doesn't doesn't make sense okay but that is what the enemies of the church who infiltrated it wanted people to do. They wanted to believe in the church and the buildings and the, you know, not in the faith and in the virtues and, and whatnot. Okay, so there's a, there's, this, is, this is a strikingly important thing to understand in your discernment process. There's the faith and there's the buildings with people. All right. The following is an exposition sent to me by uh, my old religious ed teacher, uh, and this isn't me speaking, this is from the article, of, and again it's French, Découvert des du secret de la, la Salette by René Laurentine and Michel Corteville, published in 2002 with additional reflections on the implications of the secrets of La Salette for England. I know this is a Scottish blog, but perhaps St. John Vianney was using Angleterre imprecisely, as the French tend to do, and meant to include Scotland as well. If you want the book, follow the title link, uh, and it's available on Amazon. Not that I recommend Amazon, but... Découverte, découverte du secret de la, la Salette. De, de la Salette, sorry. Okay. And this is a short thesis by James Foster. The basic facts surrounding the events of La Salette in September of 1846 have been detailed in the relevant literature since that time, and though they are not well known these days in comparison with Lords or Fatima, I do not propose to rehearse them fully here. Suffice it to say that the Bishop of Grenoble recognized the authenticity of a single apparition of the Virgin Mary to two children, Melanie Calvat and Maximin Girard. 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 In that same year, Our Lady of La Salette, as she was thence called, okay, Our Lady, not Mary, as she was thence called, asked the children to make her message known, quote, to all my people. 
unquote. As at Lourdes and Fatima, the message was a call to prayer and repentance. It included a reproach for the people's failure to observe the Sabbath, Sunday, and the misuse of the, um, and here he writes, the Lord's name, okay? So we, we know how to read into those, correct? Right. Let me know if you're not, if you don't know what I'm talking about, put it in the comment section, or just head over to OurLadiesGod.com <clears throat> and start studying. Recent events, including the failure of the potato crop, were related to the sins of the people. But Our Lady also promised a better future if only the people would change. She also confided two secrets to the children. Two secrets. One to Melanie and one to Maximin. Despite the best efforts of countless persons, including the clergy, the children resolutely refused to divulge their secrets. Finally, in July 1851, at the request of Pope Pius IX, the children agreed to write down their secrets in the presence of Bishop de Bru Brulard, yeah, French, and two witnesses. The witnesses who countersigned the statements to support their authenticity were C. de Taxis and B. Dauce. In the case of Maximum, and B. Dauce and M. Alvergne in the case of Melanie. The messages were then sealed and sent to the Pope, who decided not to reveal them. Until 2002, when the authentic secrets were finally published, all that was known of their contents was the fact that Melanie's secret contained the words infallibly soiled and antichrist. This was known because Melanie had asked the bishop how to spell these words. Contrary to what has often been claimed, the full texts of the authentic secret were never revealed by the Vatican. Indeed, um, it's a contrary to what, yeah, and they still haven't been officially revealed. Indeed, in July, what was revealed in 2002, you will read, was just this, own, this one person's individual uh, research in the Vatican archives. Indeed, in July 1915, Cardinal de Cabrieres, who firmly believed in the authenticity of the apparition, stated that the secret was said to be no longer at the Vatican. Okay. It doesn't mean that he was... He was true, it just meant that it just didn't mean anything. Okay, so now we go into false texts of the secret. In the decades following the apparition, a number of versions of the secret were published, including the version published in Italy in 1879 by Melanie Calvat herself. Okay, so 20, 30, yeah, 30 years later. This text, which was so long that it had to be published as a pamphlet, was very apocalyptic in tone and included dire predictions for the world and trenchant criticism of the clergy. <clears throat> it included the dramatic claim, quote, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. So that, that claim was not originally in the first version doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> See, this is where you people get into semantics here. It's okay. We'll, we'll get into it. It was used by anti-clericals and Freemasons to attack the church. It is still used today by those quote-unquote traditionalists who are uh, currently in schism with Rome. Okay. Um, I'd rather be in schism with Rome than uh, in error with the Holy Trinity. The church authorities have never accepted these versions of the secret as authentic. After their publication, they were placed on the index of forbidden books, and Melanie was privately cautioned for her behavior. Probably because they weren't, um, they weren't improving on what she said that they should do improve upon. At this point, it is necessary to mention the two views of Melanie that subsequently emerged. 
her devotees, including a number of clergy whom she attracted to her cause at the time. Why? Probably because they, were, they really wanted to do right by the Holy Trinity. Okay, so uh, her devotees see her as one who was completely faithful in her mission, a mission which they believe continued until uh, continued after the initial events of September 1846. She became a, became a great mystic and visionary who f suffered great frustrations at the hand of the church authorities. This was her peculiar cross and vocation. All her claimed revelations are to be trusted, including the rejected secret of 1879. The other view is that by the time Melanie published the so-called secret of La Salette, having failed in her vocation as a Carmelite nun and been dispensed from her vows by the Holy Father, she had become a pseudo-mystic, obsessed with apocalyptic literature and embittered with respect to the church authorities who had consistently refused to accede to her unreasonable demands. The secret was not a true reflection of what Our Lady said to her, but an expression of her own ideas and feelings. The Bishop of Grenoble, who suffered successive embarrassments while trying to defend Melanie, found her willful and defiant of authority. It was with considerable foresight that he declared publicly in 1851 that the mission of the shepherd children had ended and that the matter was now in the hands of the church. He did this to end Melanie's pretensions to further and continuous revelations. Melanie was said to provoke in those who had to deal with her not so much anger, but rather pity. I do not propose to attempt to resolve the issue of which of these characters represents the true Melanie, but the falsity of the 1879 version is evident for various reasons, including its length, which filled several pages of a pamphlet. The true secret barely filled three sides. Now that uh, I tend to agree with as far as um, if, if it gets wordy, it's probably not from God. Doesn't mean that there isn't God in that thing, but, you know, inspirations, but it probably isn't a direct message, if you will. It makes reference to specific events said to be going to occur in the 19th century, but which never in fact occurred. Um, the publication in 2002 of The Secret Melanie wrote for the Pope in 1851 allows us to make a comparison with the 1879 version and it quickly becomes apparent that there is little resemblance between the two, just like Fatima. The true see only it's flipped this time. The, two, the true secret is very uh, similar to the message of Fatima seen in its entirety. It is not overtly apocalyptic in tone and lacks the damning criticism of the clergy and religious found in Melanie's 1879 version. The, frame, the phrase, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist, is not present. Like Fatima, it is a message of hope, especially when read together with Maximin's secret. Yes, with hope, but if you, if you listen to what... Um, is said or asked of by Dea Matronam Nostra. Uh, okay, so let's get to the actual, they have it in French here and in English. Okay, the two writings of July 1851 agree on the essential but differ in their developments and even their tonality. The secret of Maximin is shorter, simpler, and less serious. And here is his secret. Um, he wrote his secret at the bishop's palace in front of Bishop de Brulard's people, perfectly unconcerned, on July 3rd in the evening. He was asked to rewrite it again because of spots of ink. The soiled autograph was burnt. Lastly, Mr. Douse, Douse, handed the, the secret to Bishop de Brulard to be sure of its importance before affixing his own seal to it and to send it to the Pope. 
the sealed envelope was countersigned by two witnesses at 7 p.m. And there's a photo of his original secret here. In the thesis of Father Courtevel, the secrets are published in a rigorously exact way, line by line, with the punctuation and spelling mistakes of the young shepherds for who writing in French was an exploit. Apparently they uh, spoke and write in patois. For this book intended for a large audience, we present the literal edition, but with the spelling and punctuation and the layout which make it more readable. Like all the prophecies, this one is a call to vigilance. It warns for the future without satisfying curiosity. The seers interpret as they can the picturesque terms that they know not. They extrapolate, confuse the logic and temporal plans. And that's why all, that's why uh, St. John of the Cross and St. Teresa of Avila always warned about revelations because um, you always have this mix of the individual that wants to get into the message. That's why it's most important to do, have your relationship this way. However, uh, God does understand that um, when you're first beginning, sometimes you need that uh, impetus from, from a revelation. All right, here's the English version of St. Maximin's. On September 19th, 1846, I, did I say saint? I don't know. I don't think they, they're, they're still not saints yet, from what I understand. Yeah. On September 19th, 1846, we saw a beautiful lady. We never said that this lady was the Blessed Virgin, but we always said that it was a beautiful lady. I do not know if it is the Blessed Virgin or another person. As for me, I believe today that it is the Blessed Virgin. Here is what this lady said to me. Okay, see how um, this whole idea of, uh, of Our Lady uh, as part of the Trinity um, is, it's like it was in the beginning and then they, they squeezed her out and it was changed her totally for centuries and then and then now we've brought her back so it's you have to put that into perspective and understand that quote here's the secret if my people continue what i will say to you will, will arrive earlier if it changes a little it will be a little later france has corrupted the universe one day it will be punished the faith will die out in france Three quarters of France will not participate, sorry, will not practice religion anymore, or almost no more. The other part will practice it without really practicing it. Then, after, nations will convert. The faith will be rekindled everywhere. A great country, now Protestant, in the north of Europe will be converted. By the support of this country, all the other nations of the world will be converted. Before all that arrives, great disorders will arrive in the church and everywhere. Then, after, our Holy Father, the Pope, will be persecuted. His successor will be a pontiff that nobody expects. Then, after, a great peace will come but it will not last long, a long time. A monster will come to disturb it. All that I tell you here will arrive in the other century, at the latest in the year 2000. Maximin Girard. Um... And that was dated in Grenoble, July 3rd, 1851. And that was Maximin's. Okay, so now we go to uh, Melanie's. Melanie's Secrets is well known. Mm, what happened? Oh, did I get this out of order? Okay, right, bear with me just a minute. All right, let's try this. Here's, 
here's uh, okay so to Melanie the secret was uh, in Grenoble on July 6th of 1851 on the mountain of La Salette on September 19th, 1846. Was, is the secret. Okay, here she begins. Quote, Melanie, I will say something to you which you will not say to anybody. The time of God's wrath has arrived. If when you say to the people what I have said to you so far and what I will still ask you to say, if after that they do not convert, and in parentheses it says, if they do not do penance and they do not cease working on Sunday and if they continue to blaspheme the holy name of God, in a word, if the face of the earth does not change, God will be avenged against the people, ungrateful, and slave of the demon. My son will make his power manifest. Paris, this city soiled by all kinds of crimes, will perish infallibly. Marseille, Marseille will be destroyed in a little time. When these things arrive, the disorder will be complete on the earth. The world will be given up to its impious passions. The Pope will be persecuted from all sides. They will shoot at him. They will want to put him to death. But no, one will, but no one will not be able to do it. The vicar of God will triumph again this time. The priests and the sisters and the true servants of my son will be persecuted, and several will die for the faith of Jesus Christ. A famine will reign at the same time. After all these will have arrived, many will recognize the hand of God on them. They will convert and do penance for their sins. A great king will go up on the throne and will reign a few years. Religion will reflourish and spread all over the world, and there will be a, a great abundance. The world, glad not to be lacking nothing, will fall again in its disorders, will give up God, and will be prone to its criminal passions. God's ministers, among God's ministers and the spouses of Jesus Christ, there will be some who will go astray and that they will be at the most terrible. Lastly, hell will reign on earth. It will be then that the Antichrist will be born of a sister. But woe to her. Many will believe in him because he will claim to have come from heaven. Woe to those who will believe in him. That time is not far away. Twice 50 years will not go by. Period. My child, you will not say what I have just said to you. You will not say it to anybody. You will not say if you must say it one day, you will not say what that it concerns. Finally, you will say nothing anymore until I tell you to say it. I pray to our Holy Father, the Pope, to give me this, his holy blessing. Um, okay, after, after I tell you to say it, that was the end of the secret. And then Melanie asks the Holy Father. So it gets, it's difficult because that's English and, and the French, French conversion, but you get the gist of, of, of La Salette. That, again, which is very similar to Fatima, if we don't uh, listen to <laughs> if we don't stop the sins, our own sins first, so that we can be a beacon for others to do the same, then we will have uh, nothing but suffering to endure. And those who 
um, are in sin won't know why. So let us pray for them and let us pray Mass. Demo viscum e quoque apote. Oremus. O Holy Trinity, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who liveth and reigneth with thee, one Holy Trinity, forever and ever. Suscipi Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Hocamacalatum Hostium. Quam ego indi nius famulos tuus afferiti pideo meum vivum et verum. Pro inum indibidibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligensis meis et promnibus circumstantibus et promnibus fidelibus. Catholicorum vivis atque defunctis ut mihi edidis proficitat salutem. Qui humani substantia dini tatum miribidi to condidisi et miribidus reformatio de nobis, peru is atque divinum mysterium, eius divinitatis et consortes qui meditatis nostrae, fieri di notis es parte caps de miesum crustum filium, qui tecum vivit et reinat in unitate dem patrum spiritum sanctum. Fedimus tibi Deum calicem, saetaris tuum da pacantis clementium, uducas fetu divinae maestatis tuae, pro nostra et totius mundi salute, cum adori suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humilitatis et ananoma contritu, suscipiam arete Deum Iesum Christum, et sic fiat sacrificim nostrum ecus fetu tu horiei, uplacia tibi Deum atronam nostra et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Veni Sanctificator, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, et Sanctificite Plata Pro Secundo, recipere hoc sacrificium tuo Sancto Nomini Prae Paratum. Suscipe Sancto Trinitas Sancto Blationum Com Tibia Ferimus, a memoriam passionis, resurrectionis et descensionis Deum Iesum Christum, et in honorem Deum Atronam Nostra et a Papa Peter Sanctorum, et Istorum et Omnium Sanctorum, Ut idis proficiet ad honorem nobis autem ad salutem, ad idi pro nobis interciet ed ed in interim caelis, quorum amore magimus in teris peri in num crustum deum nostrum. Orate, ut meem ac vestrum sacrificim, acaptabile fiat a patem patrum spiritum sanctum. Suscipiat deem Iesum Christum sacrificim de manibus tuis et laudam et gloriam nomini sui adutititatem coque nostram tautiusque ecclesiae suae sanctae. Deem vobiscum, et coque apotei, surusum cor dahebam as a Deem, gracias agamos Deem nostrum, dinim et justum est. De igitor remites mi matere pater, Deem atrum nostrae Deem, Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, Pede Iesum Christum Filium Tuum Deum Nostrae, Supplices Rogamas Ac Petimus, Uti Accepta Habeas, Et Santificas Haec Sanctam Sacrificim Iribata. In primis quae tibi efferimus, Pro Ecclesiam Tuum Sanctam Catholicam Quam Pacificare, Custudiri Aronare et Regere, Dineris Tot Obiet Erarum Arque Catholicae. Memento Deum Famorum Famorum Ketorum, we pray for the sick and the suffering. We especially pray for Katie, Gage, RM, Neil and Earl Lively, Maria Josephina Mose, Leticia, Mark Jr., Henry, Barbara, Kevin, and Benedict Santa Croce, Mr. Nobody Amble Tink, Floyd, the Cantu and Duarte families, Michaela McLaren and family, 
Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron, and family, Maria, and the Lineweber family. The Cahill, Kendrick, Dasko, Nye, Tafor, Began, Wolf, and Kane families, and their intentions. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first Sede Vacantis Catholic Council office at Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowances, sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the end of, of lying, which is sanctioned by the police and allowed by them in their conscience. Let this be corrected. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, medium of exchange with no usury. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this Catholic society. We, we ask that all quote-unquote gay marriage be banned and a reversal of the feminist ideology and a return to godly femininity, that women cease working for Freemasons and corporations that they focus on raising traditional Catholic families, which brings about peace and harmony in a world. We ask that all pornography and the OnlyFans platform be stopped immediately and forever. We pray for wisdom at harvest time and give thanks at harvest time. And, and we get ready to plant for the, the springtime and give us wisdom in how to do that naturally. We ask you to block all efforts of the WHO and the WEF. We ask you to block and destroy any, the satanic document of Vatican law, that is the Jewish Talmud. We ask you to destroy Rome and the Vatican and recognize the authority of the Catholic Church to be in Portugal. We ask you to destroy all forms of Freemasonry and its deceptive tentacles, which are everywhere, and bring the members who are ignorant into the submission of the Trinitarian Theophany through Catholic baptism, correct baptism, and confession. All these things we ask in accordance with the Holy Trinity's holy will. Et omnium circumstantiam quorum tibi fides cognit est ad nota do voce pro qui vis tibi faremus vero qui tibi fronto sacro vecim lauris proces quisque omnibus pro redemptione an amarum suarum prospes salutis et gloria metatis suae tibi qui redunt volta sua aeterno deum vivo et vero comunicantes et memoriam orantes in primis gloriosae semper de matram nostrae et em Jesum Christum Et beatorum matirum torum papa sancte Petri, et sancte Lucia, et sancte Iacinta, et sancte Francisco, et sancte Juan Diego. Et omnibus sanctorum torum quorum meritis precibus quae concedas ut in omnibus protectiones tuae moneum ad exilio per inum Christum Deum nostrum. Quam oblationo de Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in omnibus consacratem acceptabil et unquificet et dineris in nobis corpum, et sanguim fiat edictis mi fidium tuum Deum Iesum Christum. Qui pridie quam patoretto recepit panem in sancta sac honorabilis manus suas. Et derivati soculis in caelem ate de impatrum spiritum sanctum suo momento patentem tibi gracias agendis. Consecravit, fregit de dique lumis sui dicens, occipit de et amanducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum. Simili modo postquam ceremoni est acipiens, et hunc praeclarum calicem in sanctas aqua anabilis manus suas, et in tibi gracias agens de impatrum spiritum sanctum. Consecrave de dique lumnis sui dicens acipite et bibite exe omnes. Hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, mysterium fidei, quae pro nobis et pro nobis affonde dot in remissione peccatorum, aequa tescum vificeritis in enim facetis. Und 
de et memores deum nos servitui, sed a plebs tua sancta iustum Christum fidium tuum deum nostrae. Tam beate passionis nec non et ebin feris rejectionis sed et in caelos gloriosa escensionis aferimus, praeclare maestati tui de tuis donis actatis. Supra quae palpetio ac sare no vultur especieri digneris. Suplica este ragamos deum patrum spiritum sanctum iubi hecte fede pe manus tuum ut quot quot. Ex acataris patecipationui sacro santum deum filium tuum, corpus et sanguinum sum serimus omni santificatione caelesi et gratia de pe amor pe dinum crescum deum nostrae. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for <clears throat> May Stelzer, for whom this Mass is being offered. Ipsis de met omnibum in Christum quis centibum locum refigere i lucis e pacis, il dondor geste pracamor perinum Christum deum nostrum. Perquem heic omnia deum Iesum Christum semper bona creas, santificas, vivivicas, consecratis et praestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est ibi Dea Matrum Omnipotentium in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, omnis honor et gloria. Ave Dea Matronam Nostra Gratia Plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum, Sanctam tuum in mulieribus, Dea matronam nostrae matronam deum Iesum Christum misericordia nobis, peccatoribus nunc et honorum mortis nostrae. Libera nos quae somos deum patrum spiritum sanctum abonibus malis, praeteritis, praesentibus et futuris, et intercedente beata et gloriosa semper Dea matronam nostrae. Cum Papa Petrum sanctorum et omnibus sanctis da propitius pacem in diebus nostris. Utopi misericordiae tua aduite de peccato, simus semper liberi et avoni petepatione secori. Periendum Deum nostrum, Iesum Christum Fidium Tuum Deum nostrum. Qui tegum vivit et reinat in unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Per aeternam, pax deum Iesum Christum sit semper vobiscum et quoque apote. Aecem extio et consecratio coperis et sanguinis deum Iesum Christum. Fiat e cipendibus nobis in et salutem aeternam. Pax tecum, et coque apote. Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntate Deum Matronam Nostrae, qua prante Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per mortem tuam unum vivificasti liberam e per hoc sacro sanctum corpus et sanguinum tuam abonibus indiquatatibus meis, et unuersis malis, et facventui simpen in harare mandatis, et et unum cam separari permitas, Qui cum eo dem Dea Matronam Nostra e Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum vivis a Reina Maternam. Perceptio coperis tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indi in iu sumere praesumo non mihi proveniat in iudicium et condonationem. Ser pro tu pietate prosit mihi a tutum edem edis e coperis, et adome de lam perceptiendam. Qui vivis a Reinas, cum Dea Matronam Nostra e nunita de Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Panum calestum accipiem et nomen Deum Iesum Christum in vocabo. Deum Matronum Nostrum non sum dignus, sutitus et tetumes in tam tete quirbos in abadrona mamea. Deum Iesum Christum non sum dignus, sutitus et tetumes in tam tete quirbos in abadrona mamea. 
Then Patrum Spirit and Sunken on some genius, so to just update the mess and tante big werewolves now, but run on a mare. Corpus dem lost the mess and Chris and Custodian on a mare. Quid rutubum de mi esum Christum pro omnibus, quae rutubut mihi? Calicem saetaris acipi me nome deum patrum spiritum sanctum emocabo. Laudans emocabo deum matronam nostra et ab enimicis me savo sero. Sanguis deum nostrum esum Christum custodia tanama mea. Glory, some simus deem yeasum cusum pyramid, a gap in my setting moon and it for a fit no bis remedium sempiternum. Custom dem Jesum Christum quod sumpsit sanguis quam patavi erheriat visceribus meis et praestaut in nomen non Romaniat. Scela do mecala quem pirat sanctare fecerunt sacramenta. Deum bobiscum, <coughs> et quoque apote honoramus. <coughs> May the prayer of thy suppliants, prophet the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O holy Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one divine family, forever and ever. Deum bobiscum, et quoque apote, et me says, Deum gratia. Placia tibi sancta trinitam et sacrum servitudis mea et praesta ut sacrificim corocolis tu ei maestad disinius autori tibi seta captava de mique et omnibus. Proquibus irut optolicit imi serante propitiabile per Christum Deum nostrum. Sanctificat vos omno patens Deum, matronam et filium et spiritum sanctum. Deum matronam nostra et eim Iesum Christum et eim patrum spiritum sanctum. Gracias.
Almost Holy Trinity, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg of Thee pardon for those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Most Holy Trinity, God, Our Lady, who was, is, and ever shall be, God, Jesus Christ, who was, is, and ever shall be, and God, the Father, Holy Ghost, who was, is, and ever shall be. I venerate Thee profoundly, and I offer to Thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of God, Jesus Christ, who was, is, and ever shall be, present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of God, our Lady, who was, is, and ever shall be, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dei, Amatronam Nostri, Dei, Miesum Christum, Dei, Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. All right, thank you very much for attending and for your prayers. Please go and sanctify all those you meet. We will see you tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern Time. Have a great day.